Did you know Google Discover drives over 800 million users every month and most website owners have no idea it even exists. Unlike search where people type what they want, Discover shows content before users even think to look for it. It's personalized, passive and incredibly powerful. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to get your blog posts and articles featured in Google Discover. You'll learn how to optimize your content, images, RSS feed, and even use web stories to tap into this massive traffic source. Firstly, what kind of content works in Google Discover? If you look at the chart from this blog, you'll notice that news tend to perform extremely well. That's because Google Discover rewards content that's timely, relevant, and connected to current interests. If you run an e-commerce site, think about writing articles around big season events like holiday sales or product launches where you can naturally promote your products. If you're in entertainment, focus on celebrity interviews, movie announcements, trailers, or pop culture commentary. For travel agencies, things are more competitive. You'll need to create content that showcases irresistible packages, competitive offers, or destination highlights that can stand out and convert visitors. Now let's look at optimizing articles for Google Discover. Just like traditional SEO, content quality is everything. Your articles need to be informative, valuable, and well-structured. Avoid clickbait style headlines. They may work temporarily on social media, but Discover penalizes misleading or exaggerated titles. Aim for clarity and curiosity instead. If you want your content to appear for users in a specific country or region, use locally relevant keywords in the body of your article. Also consider implementing localized meta tags and reflank tags to properly geo-target international audiences. Focus on depth, accuracy, and user intent. The more helpful your article is, the more likely it is to show up in someone's Discover feed. But what about optimizing images for Discover? In Google Discover, visuals matter as much as the headline, if not more. Your thumbnail image is what grabs attention and earns that first click. Always use high-resolution images that are well-lit, clear, and directly related to your article. Avoid pixelated, blurry, or overly generic visuals. Google recommends using images with a minimum width of 1200 pixels. To do this, you need to set the max image preview meta tag to large. You can add this tag manually in the head section of your HTML like this. Or if you're using an SEO plugin like Rank Math, it's even easier. Just go to the WordPress dashboard, open Rank Math settings, click on Titles and Meta, and then Posts. Enable Post Robot Meta, Scroll to Image Preview and set it to Large. Save your changes and you're done. One more tip, don't use your logo as your thumbnail. It doesn't provide any context and Google may skip your article. Now let's look at why you should enable RSS feed for better content distribution. Your RSS feed helps Google discover your content faster and more reliably, especially if you publish often. If your website is built with WordPress, on RSS feed, it's enabled by default. But to optimize it and control how the content is shared, you can use a plugin like WP RSS Aggregator. Go to the RSS Aggregator menu. You can name this feed anything, say, Discover Feed Source, and enter the field URL you want to import. The plugin will auto-detect available fields from the URL. You can also set how many items to fetch. To display the field on a post or a page, just add a block search for RSS aggregator and select your feed source and that's it. Now here's something a lot of people overlook. Page speed matters for Discover too. If your content takes too long to load, especially on mobile, users bounce and Google takes note, that's where Airlift comes in. It's a free WordPress plugin designed to optimize your site's performance without the hassle of manual settings. Once installed, Airlift automatically compresses your images, delays non-essential scripts, and applies smart performance tweaks that improve your core web vitals. It's lightweight, beginner-friendly, and work great alongside content-heavy plugins like Web Stories or RSS feeds. Web Stories are a goldmine for visibility. They're short, engaging, and mobile-first. To start creating them, go to your WordPress dashboard, and install the Web Stories for WordPress plugin by Google. Once activated, you'll see a new story section in your sidebar. From there, open the Web Stories dashboard. You can choose from the pre-made templates or create your own story from scratch. Add your images, videos, text overlays to build a visual story that supports your content. For example, a fitness site could show five morning workout routines in five slides as a quick tapable web story. Once your story is ready, preview it, click publish, and embed it into your blog post or homepage. Alright, let's talk about EEAT. 
It stands for experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. And it's how Google determines whether your site is worth showing in places like Discover. And here's how to optimize each one. Number one, experience. Share real life usage, stories, or test results. If you're viewing a product, talk about your experience using it. If you're writing a travel guide, include personal photos and insights. Number two, expertise. Stick to topics you know deeply. Mention your background in your author bio. Even without formal degrees or demonstrating consistent, high quality knowledge builds credibility. Add links to previous work, contributions, or interviews where relevant. Number three, authoritativeness. Cover your niche thoroughly. The more high quality articles you have on related topics, the more Google sees your site as an authority. Backlinks from other trusted sites also reinforce this. Number four, trustworthiness. Be accurate, cite your sources, and update outdated information. Have an about page, display content info, and reduce annoying pop-ups or aggressive ads. All of this builds trust with users and with Google's algorithms. If you found this guide helpful, hit like, subscribe for more content strategy tips, and let me know in the comments if you want a full walkthrough on web stories, rank math, or RSS automation. Thanks for watching, and good luck ranking on Discover.